welcome back to deal unboxing and today we're going to review asus rt ax 89 x ax 6000 wi-fi 6 router this is the first wi-fi 6 router in the market with dual 10 gig network connections so in this in-depth review we will do a wi-fi speed coverage and performance test so please sit back relax and enjoy the review also please subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon for notifications for the future videos let's first do a quick unboxing and see its contents the unit comes with a quick start guide warranty card asus wi-fi 6 router power adapter and ethernet cable now let's look at the specs the wi-fi 6 router is powered by 64-bit quad-core cpu running at 2.2 gigahertz 256 mb flash 1 gb ram it supports ax6000 dual band wi-fi 6 a 11 ax standard OFDMA, beam forming, MU MIMO, 1024QAM, 8 external antennas, 160MHz bandwidth, DFS bands, and also supports AI mesh. Now let's look at the connection options. The router has a total of 8 1 gig LAN ports, 1 gig WAN port for internet, along with 10 gig Ethernet port, and second 10 gig SFP Plus port for 10 times faster data transfer speeds. We will put through a test during our testing. Also, router has two USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports and a power button. Also, there are three buttons on the side of the router that allows you to toggle Wi-Fi connection on and off, connect devices via VPS, and a boost key. And on the front of the router, you have a status LED indicators for all the connections. Now let's talk about design and features. The ASUS Wi-Fi 6 router has a unique design and looks like a spider, but overall solid construction. It has eight external antennas and you cannot remove them. The antennas fold flat on the top of the router but overall body dimensions are huge, measuring 3.5 inch tall, 13.5 inch wide, and 13.5 inch deep, and weighs 2.8 pounds. The router has a lot of ventilations on the top and bottom to keep the powerful hardware temperature under control. The ASUS Wi-Fi 6 router is configured for maximum performance and coverage up to 5,000 square feet. It is a 8x8 dual band Wi-Fi 6 router with total networking speed up to 6,000 megabits per second, out of which 1,148 megabits per second is for 2.4 gigahertz band and 4,804 megabits per second on 5 gigahertz band. According to ASUS, it achieves unparalleled throughput with Wi-Fi 6 support for clients yielding up to twice or more aggregate speed than a Wi-Fi 5 capable routers. That is perfect for many modern homes even on the larger side of things. So this Wi-Fi system is looking great for families, small offices or apartments. So it's a great system for multi-story houses. The router supports OFDMA and mu mo that lets you communicate more data to more devices at the same time. The Wi-Fi traffic is managed much more efficiently since data is transmitted from different devices at the same time, rather than having each device data varies for its turn. This results in an efficient use of airtime reduce latency, and increase bandwidth to add more devices to your network, which means you can connect more devices than ever before. It increases your Wi-Fi data rates up to 60% to enjoy lag-free online gaming and even 8K streaming. Now let's do some performance coverage and speed test. So we placed the ASUS Wi-Fi 6 router in the basement storage room. It has concrete walls around it, and it is in the lowest part of the house. For this test, we will be using Intel AX200 Wi-Fi 6 card installed in our Dell laptop and using iPhone 11 which also supports Wi-Fi 6. So the total square footage of the house is 5000 square feet. I will be testing Wi-Fi connection in different corners and floors of the house to see how well ASUS Wi-Fi 6 router performs in terms of Wi-Fi speed and coverage. We will also test 10 gig network speeds. In this test, we will use Fast.com, which is powered by Netflix, to perform internet speed test and also using iPerf3 performance test. So if you're not familiar with iPerf3, it is a tool to measure maximum bandwidth on wireless or wired networks. So we have our MacBook Pro configured with iPerf3 server. Okay, so here as you can see on the screen, we have both Wi-Fi bands set up separately. 2.4 GHz band is called Batman and 5 GHz band is called Superman. Also, we will be using 5 GHz channel for best performance results. The 5 GHz band is set to 160 MHz bandwidth. So let's get started. I have 1 GB Verizon Fios connection. And for the first test, I have connected a MacBook Pro to the router via Ethernet cable. And we are getting close to 1 GB internet speed confirming router can handle 1 gig internet speed as advertised. Now for the first Wi-Fi speed test, I placed a laptop with Wi-Fi 6 card installed right next to the router. And as you can see, we are connected to 5 GHz Wi-Fi 6 channel with speed up to 2.4 gigabits per second, confirming the 160 MHz channel is working correctly. And using fast.com speed test, 
I'm getting 500 megabits per second download and 880 megabits per second upload wireless speed. Now we're going to run iPerf 3 test on the laptop and we're going to use 5 streams instead of single stream. With iPerf 3 5 streams, we are able to get maximum speed up to 705 megabits per second. Now we're going to run a fast.com speed test on the iPhone 11 and which is also placed right next to the router. And using fast.com internet speed test, I'm getting 460 megabits per second download and 610 megabits per second upload wireless speed. Now we're going to run iPerf 3 test on iPhone 11 as well and going to use the 5 streams instead of single stream. With iPerf 3 5 streams, we're able to get maximum speed up to 733 megabits per second. Now for the second test, I'm standing 30 feet away from the Wi-Fi 6 router in the basement with a couple of walls between the Wi-Fi router, iPhone and laptop. I have so far good Wi-Fi connection. First using iPhone 11 with iPerf 3 5 stream test, we're able to achieve 643 megabits per second wireless speed. And using fast.com internet speed test on iPhone 11, we are able to get 350 megabits per second download and 480 megabits per second upload wireless speed. Now let's move to the laptop with Wi-Fi 6 card. And here we have very good Wi-Fi connection. And running fast.com speed test, we are getting 780 megabits per second download and 780 megabits per second upload wireless speed. And running iPerf 3 5 stream test on laptop, we are able to achieve 750 megabits per second bandwidth speed. Now let's move from the basement to the main floor of the house and do a next Wi-Fi speed and connection test. Here I still have very good Wi-Fi signals and solid connection for both laptop and iPhone. And using iPerf 3 5 stream test, we are getting 676 megabits per second wireless speed on iPhone 11. And using fast.com speed test, we are getting 280 megabits per second download and 510 megabits per second upload wireless speed. On the laptop using fast.com speed test, we are getting 300 megabits per second download and 570 megabits per second upload wireless speed. And using iPerf 3 speed test, we are still getting an average of 600 megabits per second bandwidth speed. Now I move to the far left side of the house and close to 60 feet from the Wi-Fi 6 router with the floor and few walls between the router, iPhone 11 and laptop. Here 5 GHz signal strength has dropped a bit but keeping Wi-Fi connection on both laptop and iPhone with good speeds. First running fast.com speed test on laptop, we able to achieve 170 megabits per second download and 160 megabits per second upload wireless speed. And running iPerf 3 5 stream test we able to achieve 158 megabits per second bandwidth speed. Now at the same location we are going to switch to iPhone 11 and using iPerf 3 5 stream test we are getting 211 megabits per second wireless bandwidth speed and using fast.com speed test we are able to get 170 megabits per second download and 52 megabits per second upload wireless speed. Now let's move to the far right side of the house and close to 30 feet from the Wi-Fi 6 router with the floor and few walls between router, iPhone and laptop. Here we have good Wi-Fi signals for both iPhone and laptop. And using iPerf 3 5 stream test on iPhone 11, we able to get 516 megabits per second wireless speed. And using fast.com speed test, we were able to achieve 280 megabits per second download and 330 megabits per second upload wireless speed. Now switching to laptop at the same location using fast.com speed test, we were able to achieve 300 megabits per second download and 530 megabits per second upload wireless speed. And using iPerf 3, we were able to achieve 510 megabits per second bandwidth speed. Now let's move to the second floor of the house. Here we have two floors and few walls between Wi-Fi 6 router, iPhone or laptop. Here we have very good Wi-Fi signal strength for both laptop and iPhone. And using iPerf 3 5 stream test on iPhone 11, we were able to achieve 737 megabits per second wireless bandwidth speed. And using fast.com internet speed test, we were able to achieve 420 megabits per second download and 570 megabits per second upload wireless speed. Switching to laptop, we have good Wi-Fi signal strength. And running fast.com speed test, we were able to achieve 350 megabits per second download and 580 megabits per second upload wireless speed. And using iPerf 3, we were able to achieve 730 megabits per second bandwidth wireless speed. Now we're going to do our router's network ethernet speed test. In this test, we have both our iPerf 3 server and client laptop connected to the router via ethernet. And using iPerf 3 5 stream test, we were able to achieve 1 gig bandwidth speed as expected. Next, we are going to do a 10 GB network speed test using router's 10 gig ethernet port connected to our 10 gig network card installed on our file server and also using our laptop with Wi-Fi 6 card installed, connected at 2.4 gigabits per second wireless speed. As you can see, we have our 10 GB network connection from server to the router. And for this test, we are going to transfer close to 6 GB ISO file from our server to our Wi-Fi 6 laptop and transfer the same file from Wi-Fi 6 laptop to 10 GB server to see how you can benefit from Wi-Fi 6 speed and 10 GB network connection. And keep in mind, router is equipped with 10 GB ethernet port and 10 GB SFP network port. So if you have a desktop with 10 GB network card, 
you can connect that to 10GB Ethernet port of the router and use the 10GB SFP port for file server or NAS device. But since we don't have a 10GB SFP device, we will use Wi-Fi 6 laptop to test the speed benefits. So as you can see on the screen, we are transferring 6GB ISO file from our file server to the laptop and we were able to achieve 180 megabytes per second transfer speed over Wi-Fi 6 connection from 10GB file server, which is great. Now we're going to transfer the same 6GB ISO file back from Wi-Fi 6 laptop to 10GB network connected file server. Again, as you can see, we were able to achieve 180 megabytes per second transfer speed. This is absolutely excellent results and the fastest router speeds we have seen so far. And finally, we're going to test a USB 3 read and write speed on the router. For that, we have configured Samba file server on the router and configure our USB 3 flash drive as shared storage. In this test, we are going to transfer close to 2 GB file from our Wi-Fi 6 laptop to USB 3 flash drive. And as you can see on the screen, we are able to achieve 26 megabytes per second transfer speed. I think you can achieve better write speeds if you have a USB external drive with bigger cache. Now we are going to transfer the same file back to the laptop. As you can see, we were able to achieve 90 megabytes per second read speed, which is great. So router can be used as a file server or media server using USB external hard drive. Now let's talk about the setup. Asus designed the Wi-Fi 6 router setup to be very easy three-step process. All you have to do is download the Asus router app to your Android or iOS device. Connect your router to your modem, or if you have FIOS with Ethernet connection, you can connect router WAN port directly to the Ethernet cable, and you don't need modem. And just follow the instructions in the app to complete the setup or you can set up using your web browser. The web setup has a very clean interface with ton of options to choose. So we are going to go over the settings very quickly to see what are the available options. On the main screen, we have mesh information, internet information, wireless settings with router CPU RAM information, number of connected devices, network traffic information, network ping information, and more. Then continue down the left column, there's a guest network setting information, AI protection settings, allow you to set up network protection and parental controls, followed by the adaptive QoS settings, followed by the traffic analyzer settings, followed by the USB application settings, followed by the AI cloud settings. Then under advanced settings, we have wireless settings. Here you can set up wireless settings for both 2.4 GHz band and 5 GHz band separately, or you can combine them into a single SSID. As you can see, 5 GHz channel supports 160 MHz channel bandwidth with DFS channels. Here you can also set up WPS, WDS, wireless MAC filter, radius settings and more. Then you have local LAN settings, followed by the WAN settings. Router also supports Alexa and IFTTT devices. There are also options for IPv6, firewall, admin settings, system logs, and some networking tools. But you don't have to set up all these settings if you're not a power user. You can leave everything to default, or you can use ASUS app to complete the whole process quite fast. Let's do the final summary. Overall, ASUS RT AX89X AX6000 Wi-Fi 6 router did perform very well in this review. The Wi-Fi 6 router delivers good Wi-Fi coverage, excellent Wi-Fi speeds, and will not have problem covering 5,000 square feet. The highlight of the router is a dual 10 gig network connections for super fast data transfer speeds. And ASUS also upgraded the CPU to 2.2 GHz quad-core as compared to 1.8 GHz quad-core CPU in the past, which definitely helped the performance of the router. And there are ton of LAN ports for all your network connected devices and super fast USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports. Basically, this router has all the high end features, connection options, and performance to back it all up. On that basis, I would highly recommend ASUS RT AX89X AX6000 Wi Fi 6 router for anyone who is in the market for best complete Wi Fi 6 router. Let me know what you guys think of ASUS RT AX89X AX6000 Wi Fi 6 router in the comments below. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Hit bell icon for notifications for the future videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.